Amun. Peace, 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 y'all. This is Chocolate Amara. This is the third and final class. Um, class is the true origin of the black and white race. I hope that you got to learn something on the first two segments. Nobody, I'm not trying to move fast. I ain't trying to um, just throw anything, throw all kind of information at you real fast. I'm not trying to do that. What I want to do is take my time. I told you, instead of us going to church... And listen, what I'm about to tell you is not to harm you. It's to wake you up a little bit. So, I'm going to mention church to you. But I'm not telling you not to leave church. I'm telling you, if you go to church and you're not learning nothing, and all you're doing is seeing the preacher constantly saying the same thing, you don't know who you are. You don't know where you're, you're your descendant. And they say, all you know is this, for some of y'all, that you believe this white man is supposed to come from the sky. For some of y'all. Here in 2017, I noticed that a lot of churches begin to come forth and say, you know, Jesus is a black man. This is what they're saying according to the story. Right? Now, instead of you being in church for two or three hours, you're being entertained, you can come learn. You can come sit, watch my class, learn, mentalect. You don't have to just watch me. I'm telling you, you can type that down, download mentalect. It'll pop up. You can learn on your own. Remember, I'm just the messenger. That's all. I'm just a messenger. I'm sending the message. And I'm, I'm a bridge for those who don't, you, you know, you can't reach everybody. But I do want you to understand this here clearly. Everyone is not what you think they are. Some of us are descendants from the gods. If your deity is uncomfortable when you're in church and you are forcing yourself to listen to false doctrine and you are uncomfortable, something is talking to you. You hear not in your physical ear, but in your deity ear. Called spirit. You understand? It happened to me. I don't need nobody to tell me who I am. I don't, I'm not uncomfortable calling myself a god on this earth. I am comfortable calling myself a god on this earth. What religion have done was downplayed you, not the church, the human beings on the planet downplayed black people, even as I speak, in Africa, in so many parts of Africa, if you go there, if they come here, like Nigerians, they come here to America, they'd be like, um, what's your religion? Oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Who? Well, okay, then. Who's your Lord and Savior? Jesus, what do he look like? You know he's white. Literally, they'll tell you that. And then you got some of them who know better. They'll go, well, okay. Color doesn't matter. You from Africa. How do you downplay yourself? It ain't like you, you was born here in America like us. Nah, you got the missionaries. Black missionaries too. Went to Africa and spit out it. That poison. Now every part of Africa is not suffering. Let's get that straight. They make sure that they do believe that Africa is this poison, disgusting land. Now listen here before I get into um return of the true excuse me, the true origin of the black white race. Um pay attention. If Africa is so called this terrible wasteland. Why is everybody in here still taking resources from this beautiful milk and honey? I don't know if any one of y'all 
seen Africa, if you've been to Africa, it ain't always about huts. It's not. Africa is the biggest continent on the planet. Why does everybody want to go there except black people? Everybody wants to take the resource. China's in and out. China got an army in Africa. Think. Think. Romans, the Greeks. Think. All these white people came up here with millions of dollars and bought different parts and stuff. But this is a resort. This is where we live. I'm telling you straight clearly, this is our place. I'm telling you, that's their home. Hmm? When black people been there, millions of years, thousands of years. You believe them? You don't want to even believe. You fighting who you are. Now going into that contrast of who you are. Let's go into this video. It's a radio, it's a radio station, but I want you to listen. And if it's your first time watching this video, you have to watch one and two to get a better understanding. I'm Chocolate Almond Raw. It's the third class. Hey, what's going on, everybody? We yeah, at class. Here we at class. Third part. I'm about to get into it. Okay. That's why they want the plan. To be possible for you later. These advanced beings obviously had the ability to see into the future. They planned the uh, breeding of the reptilians. On the planet, the uh, dinosaurs and things like that, and they also planned their destruction. They were here to bring about an evolution of the planet. They also aided in pulling land mass, land mass out of the water. Land mass that was sunk under the water because the majority of this planet was covered in water. And they aided in pulling up a lot of the land mass. They were receiving intelligence to move certain things, move certain uh, land masses on the earth, the dinosaurs. Just as you receive intelligence on the earth, they receive intelligence too to do certain things from these advanced beings. So we're going to fast forward to that. After they lived out their life on the planet, a meteor shower came and destroyed them. This is factual. Took them out. These advanced beings sent meteorites here to destroy the, rep to destroy the dinosaurs and the reptilians to breed a new life. They left remnants behind. So if they left the remnants behind, with the next evolution, the next stage, came your animals. Single-celled amoebas that were dropped into the water because this planet was still covered in water. Majority of it. And this gave birth to a new life form. You had your animals that started to come up on the Earth. Some of them had the genetics of the reptiles in them. A lot of your animals here that you think are animals came out of the reptile genetic. Right? And they served the purpose too. Same uh, cycle, or what they call an animal circle, or the animal cycle of life, which was to eat, to defecate into the earth, and to die. This is the point of the animals here on the planet. I'm going to get to the humans in a minute, and the origin of the white race. The whole point of animals walking the planet is to have or be a part of the animal cycle, the life cycle, which is to live, to eat, to feed on one another, to defecate into the planet, to bring about fertilization, to bring up new, uh, to bring up new growth, new, to fertilize the earth and to die off. As they die off and go into the, um, go into the earth, to bring about fertilization. That was the whole plan, just getting the earth evolved in a state of evolution. Why do you think uh, that plant life constantly grows here? Who started the cycle of plant life here? It was those animals, it was those uh, fossils 
that fossils, the reptiles and the animals that lived prior to us dying and going into the ground for millions of years. That's what brings up the greenery, gives the plant life its greenery look. All of that goes into the earth. All of that goes into being biodegradable to bring up uh, plant life to feed us. Some of our people, of some of the people, of, well, I'm going to get into that in a second, about the human race. I don't want to jump ahead of myself. Fast forward to the Sumerian story, where they talk about this God race, or this advanced race of intelligent beings walking the planet. And some of your creation story was taken and added to it. They took from the um, Sumerian story and added to your creation story, but they gave it more of a softer edge. They talked about people being created, right? Human, human beings, human life forms being created by this God race to work, to serve a purpose, to work on the planet, and to die, to be here to do the work mining. They talked about the white man, or I said say the human race. I'm not going to say the white man yet because he wasn't thought of yet. But they talked about the human race working, mining, helping pull out gold and things like these advanced beings needed. Right? Keep in mind, these advanced beings live the lives we live now. They were way ahead of us. They saw the future. They could look into the future. They had all these things that we think about. Telepathy and some of the things that we think about. They had this power. Work. They had this intelligence. This, this was all, their minds were on, you know, their minds were way, way, way more advanced. You understand? So they created these people to work because they didn't want to do physical labor, right, according to the Sumerian story. Then you go into the biblical story where they talk about man being created to be a servant to God. A servant. See how the biblical story took it from the Sumerian, and they talked about a slave race on this planet. What is a servant? One who serves, one who's a slave. They created the human race to be slaves to them, this black god race. They came here looking like black people because they had solar plexus. Just as you black people have soul, or what you call soul, the solar plexus within you, which gives rise to your hair. Why your hair doesn't look like everybody else's on the planet? Why your skin texture is different? Why you actually have carbon base to your skin, which is different from melanin, which I'm going to get into in a minute and prove it. So, as they created, as they started to get this idea, because at first, according to the story, which makes sense, because like I said, we, I'm only going to talk about things that make logical sense, that this God race who didn't want to do work here created a race of beings who would work. They tried to use the animals first, because the first idea to use the animals, you know, they did use animals in the past. They did use the reptiles to pull land mass out and whatnot, but the intelligence was limited on the animals. You know, the whole idea of the animals, as I said before, was to have lived part of the animal, live out the animal circle of eating and defecating into the earth to bring about vegetation on the planet, to create fossil fuel for us to use later. That was the point of that. So they created, they had the idea to create a whole new being, all right, from the single-celled amoebas that came from the same animal origin that they dropped in the water that took thousands of years to evolve out of the water, all right? They dropped it in, and it was a, gen a genetic... Um, elevator, in a sense, of cell structures that were advancing in water. Same way you drop a seed into the earth and you water it, right? What happens? The seed starts to grow. That's the same way the human grew out of the water, okay? Because they had all of the elements of the earth that was, where there was land mass, they had that already in them. So all you had to do is drop them in water. And they start to grow and evolve out of the water. The single cell, the amoebas became more complex and developed more cells. Okay? From that complex, or from that one cell, came more cells and more structures. And they start to walk out of the water. Okay? The white man tells you about the evolution of the human race all the time. He talks about how you ca they came out of the water. He's telling part of the story, but he just doesn't get the racial, uh, the racial, uh, 
information right. The first people, the first original people that came out of the earth, right, was your East Indians, not your so-called black people. The black people were the gods. They were the advanced race that created the human race. I said this almond being or this almond race, or who were referred to as the Nunaki and the Sumerians, and were referred to as Nitiru by the Egyptians, they were the first god, they were your god race that were creating the human race. Your human race are your artificial beings. A, a group of beings that were put together, that were basically made from artificial parts, from animal life. Part of the God race genetic went into them to give them intelligence to work. That's what you call a creation. Creatures. When you create something, you put something together, you throw something together. Well, I said black people are not part of the human race because I said black people came out of that God race. You were manifestations of the God race, not part of the creation. You come out of them genetically. That's why they can't find any origins to black people. They tell you that lie and say black people came from Africa, but then they keep looking back and back and back, and they can't really tell you because, like, as I explained when I started off this broadcast, that how can you say that black people come from Africa when Africa is a modern idea from the Romans? There was no Africa. It was all one land mass here. You understand that? So you can't say black people came from Africa. They really don't know where black people come from. However, they do give you an origin of the white man and the rest of the human race. They show you in the evolutionary chart that they come from monkeys and animals. Pre they call them prehistoric men, and primitive, and they show them coming up and they have covered in fur and hair. Isn't the white, doesn't the white man, the East Indian, and some of them still look like that today? Don't they still carry the same fur? Don't they still have genetic defects that look like animals, where you have them with animal hind legs and things like that. Why is that? Because they came out of that animal genetic that was growing out of the water from the single-celled amoebas. And when the guard race added their genetic in to give them a new form, what they call a human form, because the word hue does not mean prior, uh, contrary to what a lot of people think. That's a modern definition of the word hue. Hue does not mean color. It means a metnon ancient tongue created from the Egyptian and the comedic tongue that meant created. And if you look at the Egyptian, what they had on their wall, if you notice, they had pictures of the white man, the Asian, I believe the East Indian too. They had them in chains on walls as slaves. Hmm. A slave race. Created man as a slave race to work to create a being, an artificial being, because like I said, the word creation or creature is the same thing, it comes from the same phonetic. A lot of people say, well, you know, you use an English translation. When I said there's no such thing as an English language. But every language that you're speaking on the planet is an evolving language. So when the humans were created to work, as the Sumerian story says, as the biblical story picks up, and a lot of you people believe in religion that man was created, to be a servant of God. There's no denying that. That it came from the Sumerian story, which came first. That they, this God race, that they call God and angels, which was really a race of black men and black women. Right? We put the statues and the pictures up on the walls and things like that. Way before Michelangelo and the Greeks and the Romans came with their fake gods and their mythological gods, we put them up on the, we put them on the wall. We put this God race, this advanced race on the wall. We were the first ones saying that a God race came to the people. We were the first ones saying that the God race came and evolved the people and gave us higher intelligence. And now the white man is still saying that today. So as these people started to come out of the water, your first, your first animal race started to come out of the water. You had your, uh, you had your life forms, your primitive life forms that came out of the, uh, out of the water. One of them was your, what they call your gorillas or your, your uh, um, I forget what the, uh, uh, what they call the, um, the scientific term is for ape men, right? The ape men came about, and your first ape men, when you show the white man, shows you the first ape men 
And that evolution of the ape man was your first man, your, your East Indian, not the white man. Okay? As you show, they show you the evolution of the human race. They show you the first man was dark with straight hair. Right? That would be your East Indian. He's your Asiatic black man, not the so-called black man, because first of all, we're not Asian. We don't come, that, that terminology, Asia comes from, from a, a Roman terminology, a, 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 a Roman terminology. The Asiatic people were the people who lived in the mountains, the caves, the cave dwellers. Your East Indians were cave dwellers. Your Indo-Chinese and your white men were cave dwellers. They came out of this prehistoric, uh, uh... All right. Fascinating stuff, huh? Fascinating stuff. Stuff that probably most of y'all don't have a clue. Meaning. Get right to it real quick. We don't got that much time. Black people, you're not human beings. You're descended from gods. The Bible already tells you that. Religion, what it does, is just interpret the story different. But you can look at the Bible, and as you read it, but read it carefully. Black people, why are we the only people on the planet that have woolly hair? Who else on the planet got woolly hair? Only black people. And the people that so-called Africa has woolly hair. But guess what? There's other dark-skinned people on the planet who do not have woolly hair. Evidence. Evidence. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand this. Because I know some of y'all probably were saying, well, as the Navarin told you, East Indian Indian, they're, they're brown skinned, dark skinned people. You got people who live in a bush who's darker than me. Literally. And their hair is slick. Okay? Revolving. Revolution. Revolving. We're constantly revolving. When the Navarre was basically talking about how the gods had powers. Look, I'll give you another evidence. How in the world do white people can create a game? Even though a lot of those games already was played long before the, for the existence. But they create a game, and then all of a sudden black people get all of it and dominate it. Just, just tell me, how is this? How is this? Hmm? Think about it. When they, when they started baseball, you know they didn't want to mix the races together. White folks like, no keep the blacks, or let them have their own Negro lead, and so on and so forth. And then they found out that the Negro lead was making more money than a lot of these white folks. And then they would have, from time to time, they would have the Negro lead and the white lead that would battle, and majority of the time, who won? Well, the Negro leads. Our genetic code system is completely different from theirs. Completely. You stand their men and our men together and you can see the complete structure. We all have melanin, but black people have carbon. You are descended from gods. You don't want to accept it because of the fact is this, that you've been co-native so long co-native you don't believe you've been institutionalized 
for so long, and then when something new comes up, and all you gotta do is cross reference, take your time, and start to see that something just don't fit in correctly. Something just don't fit. Hmm? Now, anytime you want to sit there and figure out why the Egyptians had white people as slaves, you can download it. I'll show you a little bit of stuff. Different things about, you go on YouTube, okay? I'm only showing you just different. You can go on YouTube and look for this evidence, okay? Remember, Sumerian texts, Egyptian texts, you better hurry up anyway because the way they go on, they, they whitewashing everything in Egypt. You know, Egypt is the Arabs and they wash, wash, they whitewashing everything. They're trying to anyway, let's put it that way. They're trying to get rid of the evidence. That's what they're trying to do. But anyway, listen here. I had a wonderful wonderful class and I hope that um, all of y'all got the information that you needed I'm Chocolate Almond Ra and class is I told you it's going to be a lot different and not only just that we're not trying to spew out information right away bits and pieces next week we're going to continue on the true origin of the black white race. I'm not moving fast, I'm taking my time. Okay? You are God and God is on this planet. You're gonna have other black people gonna tell you, oh you ain't no God, you ain't they're gonna tell you that. Because they don't believe it. You understand? They don't believe where they come from. Evidence shows even a scientist, white scientist, if you want to go, you want to go that route, has shown that the Earth was just one la one mass of land. So if it was one mass of land, right? That means you could walk as far as you want without worrying about getting in a boat and crossing over. Think about that. Think about that. Let that, let that sink in your head. The Bible don't tell you there was different parts of the planet. It says God created the earth and it made it good. It doesn't tell you no separation. Think about that. The Bible doesn't tell you any part of the land was separated. Use your common sense, God to goddesses. The evidence is there. I'm chocolate on the ground. Peace. To next week's class. We're going to get you there.